Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Julien Haussmann. Uh, I work as a software engineer at uh, the CS Group company in France. Arthur Vincent was not able to make it today, so he asked me to uh, do the presentation for him. And I will present uh, Yota2. Yota if uh, you want to uh, generate uh, land cover maps on a l large scale using machine learning, Yota2 is uh, the tool you need. Uh, it can uh, take as input some uh, uh, optical images or SAR images. Uh, it works with time series on uh, very large uh, areas. And um, it's able to um, work with uh, different geological uh, uh, areas. It, uh, it relies on the Orpho toolbox uh, multiprocessing and multithreading capabilities, and it can be distributed uh, on multiple uh, comp uh, computing nodes through Dask. It's already used uh, on production to produce the OZO project, which is a land cover map uh, of France that's produ produced every year. It contains 23 classes. And uh, also, it's, uh, it's uh, an open source uh, project, so you can check it out at this address. Uh, what do I mean when I say large scale? Well, first, uh, it works with uh, um, heterogeneous data. So you can work with multiple kinds of uh, sensors on uh, multiple dates. And uh, it will deal with the presence of clouds. Uh, it's able to work with uh, multiple uh, geological areas, as I said before. So, for example, in France, you don't have the same climate uh, close to the ocean or uh, in the middle of France. So you can specify it as an input, and it will, it will take it into account. Also, it will uh, do some uh, temporal interpolation to smooth the data, uh, remove the clouds, and uh, also to homogenize the dates, since you can put uh, images of any date. Uh, so the temporal uh, interpolation will uh, deal with the different dates. Uh, as I said, it's a framework for uh, machine learning, so you will want to uh, do some classification with it. And uh, you have multiple uh, choice of uh, classifier. Uh, I said earlier that uh, it relies on the Orpho toolbox, so all the classifiers in the Orpho toolbox are uh, available, like the Random Forest or the SVM. But you can also use a classifier from the uh, Scikit-learn, or PyTorch, if you want to do some deep learning. You can also do some object-based image analysis uh, using some uh, segmentation as input. And it uh, also has a capability of auto-context to work uh, with um, uh, super pixel and do some uh, recurrent processing. So to conclude, uh, Yota2 will help you to do some uh, uh, land cover maps at large scale. Uh, so don't use it if you just have one tile. I mean, uh, it's really large scale over countries. And uh, you will need to give us input some uh, good quality reference data for your uh, learning step. It doesn't work uh, with uh, Windows, only with uh, Linux. But it's easy to install because we provide um, a Conda package. You will find the documentation at this address, and uh, you are welcome to contribute. Thank you.